Thank you. This is Amrita from BizAsialive.com, by the way, and thank you for talking to me today. Amrita, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And I've got to say, I'm really excited for Unfinished. Um, I've got to say, obviously, you are one of the most recognised South Asian faces in the world, ex Miss World, charity ambassador, producer, singer. You have so many hats, and now you are unleashing something to the world that is so personal to you. How do you feel a few days away from release? I'm terrified, you know, every time I look at it, it's like, I'm like, oh my gosh, how did I manage to put like 300 something pages into a book of about my life? And, um, and I opened to one of them and I'm like, you know, I'm at, I'm at a place in my life, I think, where I feel confident in who I am, um, that I guess the fears of my, um, you know, my 20s or my childhood um, doesn't scare me anymore. So it was the right time for me to be able to write a book and especially one where I wanted to be vulnerable. And, you know, so much has been written about me in, over the last 20 years. Books have been written about me and people think they know me. But actually, I've been a very private person. I've never really been someone who has allowed anyone to scratch below the surface. So this is my life my terms, my voice. Absolutely. And I think that's the part I'm, I'm most looking forward to, to see that side of you. But I've got to ask, what did you How much of it do you really know? That's what everyone should be asking when you read this book. Did I really know her <laughs> or I didn't? <laughs> that's so true. That's absolutely so true. Um, I've got to ask, what did you find most challenging about writing this? writing it's a that's crazy i mean i have so much respect for authors writers um just being able to it's not like you know writing a tweet or a instagram story it's, or caption you know uh, writing a book is an art you have to think about the introduction what your conclusion is the technicality of what your story is what are the chapters what does each chapter mean that was the most difficult part is figuring out the technique of writing a book. You, it's not just thoughts, you know, um, to, to tie it all together, for it to be interesting storytelling, for the reader to be, you know, sort of entrapped by the, the world that I, I'm trying to create. I think that that part was very difficult for me, especially because I'm such an avid reader. And my favorite books are the ones that describe uh, visually so well that you feel sucked into the world that is on the paper. And that's, that's what I was trying to do. And that was very difficult. Okay. Um, I've got to say that you're, obviously your career is a success story that so many people find hugely inspirational. But do you touch in the book at all about how you measure success? Yes, um, I think I do, uh, because it changes, the definition of it changes every time. Um, I don't think anything stays the same, right? But your definition of success when you're 15 is going to be very different from when you're 25 is going to be very different from when you're 35, etc. cetera. Um, to me, my definition of success now, where I am, you know, on the other side of 35 is, can I go to bed at night feeling like, I did something today. I contributed to something today. Or when I wake up in the morning, am I excited about going to work? That to me feels successful, you know, um, is am I building on something? Have I left something behind which is here to stay? I want to contribute to the arts. That, that, that is where I will be most successful. I want to push the goalpost for people like you and me um, when it comes to entertainment. I want people to take us seriously and I want people to take us seriously in mainstream entertainment. Um, and you know, to me, that is successful, is being able to go after something that I believe in and actually be able to create that opportunity, not just for myself, but for people around me. Okay, just to wrap up, and my final question has got to be, you've always said that you are tremendously ambitious. I'm not sure if you remember, I wrote an open letter to you in 2016 called Please Don't Stop Being Unstoppable. Um, and I've got to ask you, what makes you unstoppable? Because I know you would have obviously gone through things that people don't see, because in, when you're a celebrity, people don't see that. What makes you unstoppable, Priyanka? Well, thank you for, first of all, in acknowledging that <laughs> that is very true people um don't think you have feelings uh 
when you become a public person. But I think I just want to keep growing, you know. I don't want to be stagnant. I I want to be better in with every job that I do. I want to prove to myself that I can learn something new and I can be creative and I can, um, you know, that I can push the boundaries. There are so many boundaries that are created in this world for people. You know, there's so many glass ceilings that are created for women specifically. I wasn't raised in a family like that. My father and my mother raised me to have big dreams and suddenly I become an adult and you're told that your dream has to have a ceiling. And you know, that sort of makes me want to break them. And I think I just, I've been given the privilege of having, you know, a family that cherished me, that encouraged me into becoming my own person. And I want to use that platform of being a confident girl um, to be able to, you know, it's, it's a term that I just recently heard. It's called turn and pull. So you, whenever you move forward, you turn around and pull the other person behind you. Um, and that's what make, keeps me going, you know. I, I love doing that. I love being able to make a larger table. Thank you, Priyanka. I think that um, I'll, I'll leave it there. It's been wonderful talking to you and I'm looking forward to reading Unfinished. Well, thank you so much for your open letter the other day, the other couple of years ago. I do remember it very much. That meant a lot to me. Oh, thank you so much. And let much. me know what you thought of the book. Definitely, I definitely will. Thank you so much. <laughs>